good evening everybody. Derek and I are here at Cracker Barrel in Hickory, North Carolina. We decided to come here for supper tonight. Um, Cracker Barrel has some new items on their menu and we've been wanting to try them. Um, Derek's got a little bit of a scratchy voice tonight so he'll be talking some, not too much. Um, he's not feeling sick or anything. He's just just a little scratchy, so. Just a little hoarse for some reason, don't know why. Yeah, but, so. so we'll hear from him a little later, but we're gonna let him save his voice and we're gonna go inside and have some delicious food here at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Getting ready to go inside a Cracker Barrel here. And all the signature rocking chairs. I say I always love the front porch look that yeah. they have out here. So we can actually get the rocking chairs that they have out here. Those are for sale. And I think that cheesy bacon home style fried chicken looks amazing. That looks really good. Got all kinds of crafts and a little bit of everything in here. Clothing. That's like some spring decor. Yeah. Just an old country store, like it says. Y'all pardon me, I don't know what's happened. I started getting hoarse this morning. Still feel great otherwise. Okay, Shaughnessy has made a mistake. She, um, I think that miniature golf has gone to her head, so she challenged <laughs> me to checkers. You know how long it's been since I've played checkers? Well, uh, you should not have challenged me on that one, then. <laughs> kind of scared. Yeah, well, you should be. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, so we're still even. So how's it going? Well, I just made a stupid move. I'm about to penetrate the back wall here, which I just made a stupid move. I <laughs> didn't see that second jump there. Okay. <laughs> so I'm still one checker ahead of her right now. I never would have believed this one, but she did it. <laughs> did you mean? Did you do that on purpose? Now. I can't go anywhere. Yeah. I'm not a checker player, obviously. How did you manage to get triple jumped? I don't know. When I saw you do that, I was salivating. I said, if she takes her hand <laughs> off, it's done. So, what do you think? So I think you, you won this. Okay. I didn't just win, I still got five on the board. Alright, congratulations. <laughs> Alright, Chauncey's doing her post-game press conference here. Maybe she's not. Anyway, got some old-timey toys here. <clears throat> I used to have a dartboard similar to that when I was a little boy. Somebody's having a birthday in there. A lot of old candies. Cracker Bell's got a lot of good old stuff like that. 
How, do how many of y'all remember the Charles Chips trucks when they were delivered by a big yellow truck? The guy I've been talking to is going to come meet my lawn tomorrow. All right, got a couple of menus to show you here. So we'll go over them. I'm going to try to skip over the alcohol because we don't put that in our reviews. Over here, home style chicken and French toast. I do apologize again for the glare. And so they, some of these are new menu items they've got going on now. That sounds really good right there. Cheesy bacon home style fried chicken. And this sounds good, but it's only on a Friday. The Country Coastal Sampler. All right, I'm gonna turn the flashlight on and try that last part again. It's dark in here. That country coastal sampler is going to bring me back on a Friday. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try that. That sounds good. One on the back here. And we ordered um, the two side, yeah, the white cheddar cheese bags. We've never gotten an appetizer, I don't think, here. No, I've never seen them. So you can get two for $8.99, but we just decided to double up. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now for the main menu. Now, I have a usual that I usually get here. I really like their fried chicken, but I am gonna try, what's that one again? I'm gonna get the tips, tenders. It's, yeah, tips, tenders, and shrimp platter. Yeah, it comes with basically sirloin tips, chicken tenders, and fried shrimp. Mm -hmm. There it is, I think. <laughs> but their fried chicken here is really good. That's what I'd normally get. Are you gonna get one of the new things or are you gonna um Yeah I am. I'm gonna get that cheesy bacon home style fried chicken. Oh, well, let's see what's on the back here. Nice tea and beverages. And then we'll skip down here to the barrel box and the kid, kids menu. Not sure what else they got back here. Okay, weekday lunch features. I've never had a burger at Cracker Barrel. And that Coca-Cola chocolate cake is good. All right, that's the menu, folks. All right, we both got the peach flavored iced tea. I like the peach tea here. It's good. Tell you who else has a good peach tea is, or no, it's mango tea, it's at Cheddar's. So, tell me again what you're gonna get. I'm gonna get this new cheesy bacon home style fried chicken. All right. That was that picture we saw. Coming in, yeah. 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 That sounds I think that good. Looks really good. All right, there's what is it? White, White cheddar, cheddar box. cheese box. Yeah. I don't think we've ever gotten a uh, appetizer at Cracker Barrel before. No. So you can get one for five forty nine, or you can five five ninety nine, wasn't it? The five forty nine. Oh, okay. Or you can get two and you can pick different things for eight ninety nine. We just decided to double up on Yeah. Them. Well, take one. I guess that's ranch. Mm hmm Oh, they're good. Real good? Mm-hmm.
Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to say this. The drinks helping my throat a little bit. I've never had a cheese curd that I did not like, but these are really, really exceptional. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend these. I'll probably get these every time I come to Cracker Barrel now. They are really good. They are. They're really, really exceptional. Yeah, they are. So, they're really good dipped in that ranch, too. So. Yeah. And one thing that Cracker Barrels are always known for, no matter where you go, is the old signs and like metal cans on the wall. Pick old pictures. It's a very rustic building. I'm not going to record too much in here. We're getting a lot of stairs. So. <laughs> Apparently, people here in Hickory aren't used to YouTube bloggers. So. Anyway. So we're just waiting on our food now. Yep. I think that drinks helped my throat just a little bit. Good. All right, the food is out, and you got say that again. A lot of, in that name. It was like a cheesy bacon home style macaroni chicken souffle upside down cake or something. Something like that. Yeah. All right, and then I got the turnip greens. Now I will say I love Cracker Barrels turnip greens without vinegar. Don't don't ruin those with vinegar. They got a good meat seasoned flavor to them. The mashed potatoes with a sawmill gravy, and then I got the sirloin tips, chicken tenders, and fried shrimp. That all looks good. So you want to take a bite of something? I already know the carrots and the okra's good because I get You that. always get the carrots. I always get and that. I always get the mashed potatoes and turnip greens here. Those are my two Cracker Barrel sides every time. So it looks like it's got bacon, little onion straws. Really good. Really good? Yeah, it is. Different, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's got that's onion straws on top then. Yeah, it is. I guess it's like a ranch. Okay. With bacon on it. Alright, so you know you like the okra and the carrots. Yes, I already know that. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite of the sirloin kit first. Supposed to have like a garlic butter. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. I can taste that. It's got like a little bit of a garlic butter sauce on it. Mm -hmm. So not bad. So is that chicken That's or shrimp? Shrimp. Looks Fried shrimp is really good. Good. It's, it's breaded thick, but it's really good. It looks real crispy. Yeah, it is. And the chicken. The tenders are good and juicy, flavorful. So far, everything's good. That's a lot of meat. Looks good. So how about another game of checkers? About not. <laughs> what you got there? Sea salt, caramel. How about you? That'd be good. Show, show those gummies again. Never seen this before. Macaroni and cheese gummies. <laughs> Look at this old time paid telephone here. That's pretty neat. All kinds of neat stuff hanging from the ceiling too. Got like a tricycle. Little red wagon. All kinds of neat old stuff. Little tractor seat. Washboard. Some stuff I don't know what it is to be honest with you. You know, I've never actually looked at the ceiling inside a tractor before. Huh. Got some collegiate gear here. We got NC State. And we got that team that didn't make the NCAA tournament this year. A little bit of everything at Cracker Barrel. So we're gonna step out and give a final close out. Okay, so we finished up our meal, and um, let me say that I am like super full. And every time we eat, it's like if it's the slightest bit chilly outside, I get the shivers. So I'm shivering cold. So I will go first, as always. So I got the. Um, it was new on the menu. It's the. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was the pictures we first walked in. It was the homestyle chicken, and they put cheddar cheese on it. 
bacon. Um, it had a name a mile long. So. Yeah. Um, it had <clears throat> chopped up tomatoes, green onions, onion straws, ranch dressing, cheddar cheese. And it was really good. So if you've ever had the home style chicken, you know it's good and crispy. And then with all those toppings, it was really good. Um, I always get the um, carrots and the okra, and it was good as always. Um, my meal was very good. Like I said, I'm very full, and I've got the shivers. <laughs> uh, we found a new flavor of uh, peppermint stick tonight. Cotton so candy flavor. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to try those out. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. My throat's starting to act up again. I was doing okay once I had a drink in there, but were you done? I'm sorry. I'm done. Go okay. Ahead. I got the, um, what was it called? Tips, tenders, and shrimp platter. And it was new. I had seen it advertised for a while, been wanting to try it. And uh, so tonight was the night. Um, really, everything was good. The mashed potatoes and gravy and the turnip greens I always get here. The turnip greens are some of the best you can get anywhere. Yeah, I would highly recommend, if you like greens, come to Cracker Barrel and get the turnip greens. They, they have a really good seasoned uh, flavor with the ham that they're cooked with. So I really just like them the way they are. And um, the shrimp tonight was very good. Now, it was heavily breaded and it was crunchy. Now, if you don't like stuff heavily breaded, you may not like that, but I, I didn't mind it. I liked it really good, had a good flavor. Uh, and again, the sirloin tips. For sirloin steak, they were flavorful. They had like a garlic butter over them. Um, and so that was good and also the tenders were were good uh, don't really have any complaints the appetizers i'll say another thing about those mozzarella uh, or white cheddar what was it white cheddar bites white cheddar bites okay really really good i like those i like those about as good as any uh deep fried cheese curd that i've had uh really really good so uh again this is cracker barrel Hickory, North Carolina, exit 125, same exit as the Texas Roadhouse that we were at the other night, except that's on the north side of I-40. This is the south side of I-40, so same exit, just different direction once you get off. Mm -hmm. So um, The peach tea was really good. I didn't mention that. That was, like, really good. Yeah. Uh, had a real good flavor, yeah. sweet flavor. This is a restaurant we come to a lot mm -hmm. uh, as far as just for a night out of country cooking. We usually like to go to the one in Boone, even though this one is closer to where we live. So... I saw that Friday night coastal platter uh, thing and it kind of got my attention. So there's going to be a Cracker Barrel Part 2. We're probably going to ride up to Boone. I don't know when yet, but there will be a Cracker Barrel Part 2 coming soon. It's going to be on a Friday because I want to try that as well. So um, we're going to close this out for tonight. Oh, that's a that's that cotton candy. So how is that? Very good. It's very sweet and you can taste the cotton candy flavor in it. I like it. It's good. Well, good. I'm glad that we can taste the cotton candy in a cotton candy stick. Oh, it is. It's a good. Yeah, they are. They're they're different. They're interesting. Mm -hmm. And one thing we forgot in our final review, I forgot to mention what a great checkerboard they have in there. Um, somebody decided. I think the miniature golf went to somebody's head, and they thought they could start beating me at anything now, and that just didn't turn out to be the case, did it? No. no. So she challenged me to a checker game tonight. I really wasn't coming here to play checkers, but. Um, <laughs> She thought that that would give her one more thing to have bragging. And that, that didn't go well, did it? No. I asked her, I had five checkers <laughs> left on the board when she was finished. So um, I've never triple jumped anybody in my life till tonight. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, and then so, he saw it and recorded it. I so. couldn't believe it because we have a rule that once you take your finger, if you make a move. I just noticed that. Once you take your finger off, then you can't take the move back. So. I saw her doing it and I was kind of silently praying, let her take her finger off of it. <laughs> and she did, and I couldn't believe it. I just saw that and I said, okay, I gotta get out and record that. And uh, I don't think you saw that coming, did you? No, I didn't. She forgot that when I have a king, I can go backwards. It has been so many years since I've played checkers. Yeah. I mean, you kind of remember a little bit and then it was kind of, no, I didn't remember that, so. Yeah, well, anyway. you remember it now, don't you? But, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thank y'all for watching this. We've had a good evening we together. I, I won at checkers and, um, this is the beginning of good things to come. We're, we're going to go bowling soon, too. So. We do need to go. And it's been a while yeah. since we've bowled. And you know I can out-bowl you. He's always out-bowling me. Yeah. I don't think you've ever I, I get just like these every once in a while lucky strikes. That's just like, how'd you do that? Like, like lucky hole-in-one. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. But again, thank you all for watching, and have a blessed evening.